Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Noding. In this episode, I'm going to be experimenting with uh, sphere chop and image processing, and especially it's called uh, something called dithering. So, image dithering. And this is actually quite interesting. If you ever actually play around with a like a low res camera, like uh, the one used inside a Game Boy, um, you will find uh, some kind of dithering method. And this is just one example, and it's, it's using certain algorithms, so the deter looks like um, there's some kind of uh, special pattern. And this is definitely like super low res, but this is kind of look that I want to create and play around with. And this is actually interesting because um, there is this example uh, from Spreadshock Developer, Jeffy. Um, with, uh, inside this thread, you can have a look how uh, he processed uh, the information and he created this uh, script node uh, for sphere chalk that you can use to create this kind of loop and this is actually like a uh, factor points and yeah I think we can just get started so blender and go to compositing layout I have sphere chalk already installed and for the image I will be using my image uh, this cat I took this uh, photo the other day and the image is, uh, I think, 400 by 400 pixels. So I, I make it kind of small, but you can go higher. But I think these days you can, you have like super high res image even from a smartphone. So uh, sometimes it's a bit too much. If you wanna play around with this kind of algorithm, um, try like a, like a small resolution. So, this is the script not light versions, and I'll be using this one. I'm gonna copy this and paste it here into the text editor. So this is gonna be SN script note SNL script not light editor. I just call it like that. Save this as virtual editor and we also will be needing these uh, Python codes. Um, Zephy made it separate. And this is the actual algorithm to do the image processing. So this is, there's a lot of uh, this uh, calculations, um, some kind of math functions. Paste it here and then call it Dieter Network. Dot .py Okay, so I think we have what we need to get started. So script not light, oops. Script not light and just grab the SNL and then run it and then I get an error because I think by default from the script it's pointing at the this uh, Lena Lena image. Um, currently our image is called square cat so this is the one we need copy paste the name of the image save it and reload and wait for a few seconds and script node gonna observe the image and then do a little bit of processing and I think it's pretty much done and then we look at the result using viewer draw and hopefully this works so yeah apparently we get like a bunch of points now to represent our cat image the points is a little bit too big so i'll make this smaller and if i make it full screen we get our cat image but it's a bit uh we need to kind of rotate it i guess so it's um it is working and if i'm not wrong the script has limitation that uh the image needs to be square for now and so but anyway anyhow let's rotate the image for now so I'm using this uh, rotations for this vector points and simply gonna rotate it in I think it's in 90 degree in the z-axis now it's totally upside down so it's have to be negative 90 so orientation of image is uh, 
kind of interesting. So I'm gonna save this. So we all we always we almost have something that's uh, working. So the script node light itself is pretty small. There's only this uh, scale properties and this guy is uh, the setup is importing the numpy and then get the image and then this one is printing the image height. We don't actually need this print. And vertex append it's appending this uh, based on the this Python script. Actually, this is very cool. I, I really like how he wrote this uh, uh, image processing and this is the actual algorithm. So he separated. So it's really nice. You can study this script node and then have a look. Basically, it's dealing with uh, image pixels. So there is a like, RGBA value for each array uh, pixel of the image in uh, width and height so 400 by 400 pixel is rather pretty fast and yeah and this part kind of maybe kind of scary if you never look at it but there are a few YouTube videos and articles that's uh, talking about this and explain it what's actually happens this is a very clever math functions basically I think it's generating some kind of pattern so let's take a look at the image and so we have our cat look at it from top view and let's give it some kind of uh, oh, since this is white color I think we can have a dark background and there you go that's our detailed image and the deterred image is um, actually this is just a uh, vector points in Spreadshop. And in order to render this out, you probably want to do some kind of instancing for every points. This is already like a kind of points inside the grid, and then they are spaced differently. And uh, I think this is really nice image. And of course, you can always render it using OpenGL if I'm not wrong. And but I think I can process this further maybe like um, maybe apply the color as well from the original from the original cat image and uh, bring back the RGB and it's gonna be like some kind of point cloud but very very uh, very efficient point cloud because it's um, I don't know I think uh, because they're not for every points that there's some kind of deter and this is gonna be light if you export it out as a point cloud so kind of curious about that maybe I'll do that using and upload it to sketchfab so anyhow that's a quick look at the image editor using Spreadshock add-on the uh, the editor algorithm actually comes there are quite different a uh, few different one that you can try I don't know how to change this I think the modes you can change the modes using uh, maybe changing Changing this one, the this is the default deter, or maybe you go inside SNL. This should have uh, the deter option. I think we can change that. But this is um, there are quite a few algorithm. So Floyd Atkinson, Jarvis Stucky. I want to try a few of them. Uh, and then I try to copy paste in here, but it uh, doesn't seem to work. But anyway, anyhow, give it a try for yourself and then see how it goes. So this is the final result. I'm gonna just take a screenshot. Okay, so that's image editor using Spreadshock add-on inside Blender. Hopefully you find this useful. Let me know what you think and I'll see you next time. Thank you.